Hi everyone, welcome to my channel Westy Travels. My name's Col, and this week's review we're going to be doing a review on the excellent Helinox Chair Zero. Again, this is something I've purchased myself. I haven't been sponsored by the company, so what I'll do is I'll give you an honest review, tell you its dimensions, weights, etc., and how I find it in a useful situation while out camping. So first off, when you receive your Helinox Chair Zero, it comes in this stuff sack, which is waterproof, and it's it's loose enough that it's not a struggle to get the the chair back in its back, its bag. Lengthwise in the pack, it's 35 centimeters and it's 10 centimeters round with it. It's 531 grams, so very very light, but it's only 509 grams, so it's not really really hot and if you're doing a hike where you're going to be sitting around and it's summertime and you want to have a bit more comfort and you want a little bit of luxury with you where you've maybe got some ultra light kit with you to compensate for it it's a nice little handy chair so what we'll do is first off we'll show you how to put it together and then we'll show you how it works in different conditions with it on this the sand here just on the beach and then basically up on the marker here where it's a bit more vegetation and we'll show you how easy it is to get in and out of it okay so let's get it out the the bag and see what we're dealing with here so straight off you can see it's very loose we'll just tuck this away here and the poles come wrapped up in the chair itself so you just unravel it stick your knee on the the chair itself and then you can see all the poles you can virtually shake it and they would go in. So it just takes literally about 10 seconds to put them together. Now the frame itself has decent rubber grommets in the bottom. So it won't just sink straight into unless it's very, very soft. And the plastic's very sturdy. And the poles all have an internal elasticated shock cord in them as well. But you can see it's very, very quick. And the, the poles themselves are made of DAC, DAC, aluminium, sort of the same sort of type poles that you would get in tents. So they're very, very sturdy. Meant to mention earlier as well, cost wise in the UK, I just checked the website and just now they're retailing in the UK for about £135, but you might be able to get that a little bit cheaper online. So next up, is your material. And it's very sturdy material, we reinforce ones and the first thing you'll notice it tells you there's a sign in the back saying this side up with an arrow. So you basically get two female receivers there that just slide over the top of the frame. There's a bit of play in it then you can turn it round and Obviously at the bottom as well, you just bend them into it there. And that's it in. And you can see straight away, that's it built there. So it literally takes you a minute or two to put up and put down again. And it's very, very sturdy. You've got a couple of vents there coming in there as well with it. It's a very strong material with it. Your biggest danger I found isn't so much falling over in the chair or it collapsing on you. It's as if you're camping somewhere and there's a bit of a breeze, a bit of a wind, because it's so light, it's only 501 grams, that you you get off your chair and you go for a wander and you come back and your chair's blown down the road there a little bit. So you can see the chair's quite low to the ground and it sits in and at first it feels a little bit sway but it really kind of grips you when you've got a belly like mine as well it's quite comfortable it just gives you that little bit more comfort when you're on the trail after you've been hiking all day or whether you're car camping and stuff it's very lightweight takes seconds and isn't bulky so it's a win-win for me with this and the other side of it is how easy it is to pack away as well so we'll show you that in a minute but you can see this is a kind of marker scottish marker type thing where 
you're in the sand and shingle here with just grass on it and it's not sinking in at all. Obviously, if you go down onto sand or very mucky conditions, it would sink in with that. So what Helen Elks have done, I've never bothered with it because I just camp somewhere that it's decent enough. But there's actually a little mat that has the four female connectors that sits into the four feet at the bottom. And that creates a sort of broad mat-like thing that will stop you sinking into sand. So not sure how much that accounts. You can check that online yourself. But let's let's pack it away now and we'll we'll see how quick it is to put away as well. So to put the chair away, it's just exactly in reverse. You're just taking the fabric off the frame. And what you do is you just fold that up into thirds and then quickly start bringing the poles out and folding them in towards the middle base section. And again, you can see it literally takes you 20, 30 seconds. And then you just stick it into the chair itself and tightly roll it up. And then you can see it, it goes in very, very easy into the stuff sack. And just since he's in, and that's you ready to put away in your back, finish with it. So I've had this now two or three years and I've taken on maybe two or three trails with me. I don't often take a chair, but if it's summer and it's a shorter hike during the day where you're maybe just doing 12, 15 miles a day, and you're going to be sitting around the campsite for a while, it's definitely worth a little bit of luxury. And it's that lightweight, the chair zero. Now they do do bigger versions, like so chair one, and I think there's another big one as well, which are a bit more substantial and height wise and strength with it as well. But this is one that you would take hiking with you if you wanted to take it that way. And one of the other things people sometimes struggle with is getting out of the chair. Rather than you trying to roll forward with it, what you tend to do is try and just roll to the side, put your hand in, then just push yourself up, and that helps you with it. So I hope you enjoyed this very quick little review of a fantastic little chair, the Helinox Chair Zero. Something I would definitely recommend if you're wanting to take a bit of luxury on your hikes and your car camping with you. Hardly takes up any room very lightweight and although it is quite expensive for such a small piece of kit but as usual the lighter camping kit tends to be the more expensive it is so you've just got to shop around and try and find yourself a bargain out there so from the lovely Ettrick Bay on the Isle of Butte where I'm camping I hope you enjoyed this little review and if you did if you can take two seconds out of your day to give me a little like and a subscribe to my channel, Westy Travels. I'll catch you on our next episode away, our next adventure. For now, toodaloo.